Hey guys, mga sa atin siya ng back with another vlog. So today is the last day na ng first week ng second sem. So today is ano, Thursday. So wala akong class bukas ng Friday. Ang subjects ko for today is lahat major subjects. So film related. Ganun. At this time, since asynchronous lang, um, sumahan niyo ako na... Uh, magbasa ng mga essays. If kaya ko manood tayo ng documentary kasi kailangan namin yun for our first assignment sa isang paper namin. And kailangan talaga na marang oras to focus on that. So, let's do this thing. Sorry ko medyo wala akong energy kasi nagkakasat pa rin ako and I'm just trying to you know, be productive. Yeah. So, let's go. And before we continue, I'll take you on a tour of my set. First, here are the balloons I got for my 19th birthday. Next are my DIY Polaroids. The purple ones are the newer ones, then the bluish and pinkish ones are just from the older ones. Let's move on to the shelf. There's my Gorilla Pod, two bottle sprays, a tumbler, and candles. I also have this book, How to Take Great Photographs by John Hedgeko, which I'm too busy to read and Trip to Quiapo by Sir Ricky Lee. Lastly, now let's move on to the next one. First is my hard drive where I keep all my files. Second is my clapperboard which I got myself for my birthday and a part of my birthday shoot. Then here are my three pairs of anti-radiation glasses, some school supplies, my camera, and camera scrapbook thing. Below is a box of my stickers, and behind them are books that, of course, I'm still in progress. Next are my journals I love the most. On the desk proper is my laptop, and guys, look at that wallpaper, it's so sick! Last but not the least, my planner, which is from 2020 but using it anyway, then my pretty little highlighters I use for journaling. more films like like those films that at the same time it captures the attention of people that make them think and even reevaluate their lives and something. I've noticed that you have a lot of you have a animation which is actually a good basis for conceptualization. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Next, si Maxine. Okay, let's pause for a moment. This is my fault because Nung tinatawag na ako, nakalimut ako mag-record ng voice ko sa phone ko. Kasi pag sa laptop lang, maririnig din yung noise ng mismong laptop. So, hindi ko binubuksan yung mic kapag nag-screen recording. And then, ayun, hindi ako maririnig. So, ito na lang, pakinggan na lang dito. So, I am Maxine Angelique Munoz. My nickname is Max. 
pronounce she and her specialization ang sabi ko nitong time na to in between or i'm still playing with cinematography screenwriting and documentary documentary dahil nga lately gumawa kami ng documentary film so parang mas nag-engage ako or nagilin talaga sa documentary like i really want to know true stories parang ganun tapos guilty pleasure films ang nabanggit ko is basta any action or adventure yung mga jumanji ganun tapos mga marvel movies ayun lang enjoy na kayo papanood natutuwa ko na marami interested sa inyo yung documentary filmmaking no? na hindi siya ano hindi siya as mainstream now and that's really nice na na maraming nag, nag at least nag-iisip to consider documentary filmmaking gusto niyo ng alternative kung gusto niyo ng iba naman bukod doon sa mainstream filmmaking documentary filmmaking provides a lot of opportunities not only sa career advancement but travel hero and villain daw so one hero one villain wait kailangan ba like superhero uh, power ay kailangan ba ganun oo oh, oh. pa- paano nila ko yung power ganun like ito naisip pa na tayo ng ano uh, powers tapos tapos <laughs> tingnan natin <laughs> Ito na lang sa docs na sinend ni Rob. Time. Time management. Joke lang pala tawag doon. Ay, oh, yung <laughs> time <laughs> management! <laughs> yung ano, nakakontrol mo yung time. May anime na ano, na kung ano yung isipin ng kalaban mo, yun yung nagiging power mo. So, ito yun sa akin. Super strength, speed, time travel. Kasi yun parang ano, comedy yung power. <laughs> Naglalabas sa adobo, gano'n. <laughs> Ako, nood nyo na ba yung ano? Encanto? Hindi yeah. pa, di pa. Ano tawag, Maganda! Anong tawag dun sa may yung ba, yung, yung lalaki? Yung parang nagiging... Ah, shape-shift. Uh, shape. Oo, oh, oh, meron na shape-shift. Oh, meron, meron na dito. Ah, uh, oh, meron na yun. Oh, sige. Okay, okay Rod, meron na yun. Alam nyo yung ano? Yung... Yung ano, sky high. Alam nyo ba yun? Uh, Ang uh, old doon. Plus. Yun, yung, yung mga ano, yung mga weird na ano, na powers na kala nila, hindi maganda, pero... For you, Max, ano yung um, top... <laughs> top, top one? Two. Agad? Top, top two mong powers. Kasi ang iniisip ko talaga, if ibibase na natin siya story, gusto ko yung parang feeling useless. <laughs> so, yung ano, yung three... And four. Pero parang wala lang. Parang magkakaroon lang tayo ng strong, ah, uh, what do you call this? Strong background kung paano yun ako or kung paano niya gagamitin. Ayun lang. For you, Rod. Ano yun sa'yo? Ako yung ano, number three ko, parang interesting siya pag ganun yung power ng villain. So parang mapapakwestiyon yung superhero na ano, ano gagawin niya kung ano yung gets pa. Uh, ng power. Tapos siguro ano, yung ano, shape shift. Sayo ka. Ano sa akin, yung A ko is yung shape shifting. Pero ang ganda din ng kay Rod, yung mimic. Napanood niya ba yung Umbrella Academy? Oh. Okay. <laughs> sa akin, time travel. A. Sa... Oh, ano pa nga pala ng mga powers ko para sa Superman na. Marvel na eh. Ayun lang, siguro time travel sa akin. Uh, childhood, anik, ganon. <laughs> Say, okay, evening. Big number. Hi, game. So, docs na lang siguro since may docs na tayo. Karen. Tapos... So, ano ang pangalan? <laughs> Kung nauna pumasok sa isip niyo. Joke lang. Hindi, lagay natin ano. Try ko din kum- mag-come up ng story. Pangalan ng pangalan ng mga... Ano, kunwari, Fernando. Ganun, pangalan na lang. <laughs> Fernando. <laughs> Pwede, oo nga. Hindi, yung kasi diba, ano? pag, pag sa Pinoy, Fernando, parang ano siya, oh. uh, gawin naman natin siya yung Contra Vita. Tapos pag, pag-isip tayo naman. Ano? Uh, 
ano, betong batong baka. Parang <laughs> 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 So here is our final output. A proposal for the production of saving planet Zem. Jennifer and Joshua are inborn superhumans from planet Zem, an extraterrestrial planet with a highly advanced civilization. They work under Spectre, an organization wherein they were regarded as the best agents and partners in saving the universe. During one of their missions, they were tasked to retrieve the Dunkle from planet XYZ, an unidentifiable object that is capable of altering a human's biological structure to become uncontrollable and immortal, which can lead to catastrophe. Once it is unsealed, it can also destroy a whole planet with its dark and powerful energy. Both individuals had clear plans for the mission. However, Joshua decided to go on rogue as soon as they got their hands on the object. Joshua professed his hunger for power and jealousy from Jennifer's accomplishments and praise from other people. During their time as partners, he always felt that he was constantly living in Jennifer's shadow. Thus, the motive behind him going rogue. Jennifer tries to talk out Joshua with his plan to take control of the Dunkle, then use it to take down Spectre and rule over Zeb, but ultimately fails when he teleports back to their planet. As soon as Joshua opens up the Dunkle back into planet Zem, everything goes into chaos. Now, it is in Jennifer's hands to save her planet.